So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the table provided here. So let's check out this table. The table pretty much is an XY table, right? Because F of X and Y mean the same thing. So we have these ordered pairs provided here, zero comma negative two. I'll just write that down. Zero, negative two, and two, four, and six, 16. You don't have to write those down, but I don't know why. I'm deciding to write those down right now. So the question says some value of the linear function. Oh, linear function. So this is a key word. Anytime I see this word on this test, uh, I automatically think y equals mx plus b. And, uh, you know, I could figure this function out right now. I'm going to continue to read the question, though, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have to figure out what this function actually is. So some values of the linear function f are shown in the table above, right? We already put those, function, those uh, values down. What is the value of f of 3? So we want f of 3. Okay. Now, I don't know what f of 3 is, obviously. I only know what f of 0 f of 2 and f of 6 are, which means I'm going to need to figure out what this function is, right? So again, another way to write this is f of x is equal to mx plus b. Remember, because f of x and y are pretty much interchangeable. So if I can figure out what this linear function is, then I can just plug a 3 in for x and I'm, I'm, I'll be finished. So let's start breaking down the information provided in order to figure out what the function represents. So I'm going to start out with figuring out what my m value is. So m, or slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Hopefully you remember that. So I can, um, I can let's say I call this x1 and y1, and let's say I call this x2 and y2. So if I use those values for my x's and y's, what I'm left with here is y2 is 4 minus y1 is negative 2, so before minus negative 2. And then x2 is 2 minus x1, which is 0. So I have 4 minus negative 2, which becomes 4 plus 2, which is 6. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And therefore, my slope, m, is equal to 3. So that's one part of my function. And then the other part, and let's just write this down as is. So f of x is equal to 3x plus b. So now I'm going to just choose one of these ordered pairs. Let's go with the 6, 16, since I haven't used that. And say, well, hey, what does that mean? That means that when x is 6, so I'm going to just put 3 times 6 here, plus b y must be equal to 16. And we already know that y and f of x are the same thing. So I'm going to replace f of x with 16, right? So I just replaced y with 16 and x with 6 based upon the ordered pair that was provided. So now let's solve this. So I have 16 equals 18 plus b. Subtract 18 from both sides. And I'm left with negative 2 equals b. So now I have m and b values, which is pretty much all I need to set up my function. So I'm going to rewrite my function here and say that means that I have f of x is equal to 3x minus 2. And lastly, therefore, f of 3 is equal to 3 times 3, right? Because whatever I replace this x with, I also replace any x on the right side of the equation with. So because x is replaced by 3 here, the x will also be replaced by 3 here. So 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So therefore, f of 3 is equal to 7. And the correct answer here is choice B.